Haynes and Leary, the deep men. Leary. A move at the 20. Breaks a tackle. And then taken down short of the 25-yard line. The return of 22 yards to get it started for Georgia Tech. Coming into this game. With his feet by himself some time, he can really sling it around the yard as well. Thrown for over 300 yards in each of the Yellow Jacket games this season. That's going nowhere. That's going to be a loss on the play. Top 20 in the nation. Let's see what they bring. Four. Georgia Tech is fourth best on third down in the conference. That'll come up short. Jamal Haynes trying to dive forward. Maybe a couple yards short on the 11-yard pass play from King. Morin, fair catch at about the 21-yard line, almost four and a half seconds. And he's tough. And he'll find a way to scrap and win. Threw for over 300 yards in the come-from-behind win against Old Dominion. First down on the catch, 11 yards. Keyshawn Williams went up to grab it, and the chains are moving. Back at 06 in the ACC. They both have 77 career no, wins. No, no cut. He cut it. Griffiths. Pass up near the 45, and that is caught. Taylor Morin, and another first down as Sims made the tackle of Morin. Brent Key has preached to his team all week long, one-on-ones, one-on-ones. Who who's going to win these one-on-one -on -one battles? Miles Sims has great coverage. you got to find a way to win that one-on-one -on -one battle and knock that ball down. That ball bouncing around on the turf is... scooped up by Wake Forest as Griffiths was back in the pocket. Gordon fell on it. You see the, the look on Dave Clawson's face, and there was a whole lot of that in the come from behind win against ODU last week. Old Dominion was right there in the face of Griffiths the whole time. They lost six on that previous play as Micaiah Scott got a piece of it for Georgia Tech, and now Ellison. Look for him just to run it right here, maybe. Griffiths. Feeling the pressure and being dragged. Now a flag comes out. Flag is thrown as Griffiths was surrounded by Yellow Jackets. Kyle Kennard was nearby. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number nine. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Up the middle. Couple of moves, barreling his way to the 40 is Justice Ellison. Very close to the first down. Maybe just a little bit shy of the line to gain. He got eight on the rush. Kennard the tackle. First possession of the game for the Demon Deeks here in our first quarter. Ellison looking for a lane. Ellison inside the 20 and down near the 10 and bashed out of bounds. Justice Ellison let it develop and took it 29 yards. Watch the, watch the left side and 74 Pettibon does such a good job of locking up on Horace Lockett. And the defensive end comes charging inside. There's nobody out there to turn it back in. All those white hats are on the inside. You've got to turn it back in. Let's see what they do, Trevor, on the 13th play of the drive. Looking left all the way. Griffiths lets it go and it's too far. Looking for Morin in the end zone. Miles Sims defensively for Georgia Tech and, and made both of his attempts against Old Dominion. And Wake Forest is on the board first. Walter Camp, player of the week. He had five of those ten sacks last week. And Mustafa, Malik Mustafa from his safety spot has been very big. There's Pointer in there. I wish I would have had Roy G. Bibb as one of my impact players because <laughs> he's in the house too tonight. That was a loss of three. Yeah, Kevin Pointer is one of the most underrated and outstanding defensive linemen in all of this conference without question. Watch 91. You know that King will be watching him. Floats it down the sideline. It's caught inside the 40. Haynes King pass on schedule to Luke Benson for Georgia Tech. Great job up front. Plenty of time for Benson to get running. And this ball has to be. And the loss against Ole Miss for Georgia Tech. Takes a look. Let's it go. To the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. A Georgia Tech.
Tech touchdown to Eric Singleton Jr. Well, one of our Walmart impact players, it's man coverage in this little corner route here. And it's not terrible coverage. Again, another perfectly thrown football to Sean Jones. Trailing right there, guy who leads the team with two interceptions. But it's just too good of a throw. Aiden Burr with the extra point. How about those two throws during the course of that drive? Is a bruiser, redshirt freshman from Davie County. Claiborne rushed for 165 yards against Vanderbilt in that win for Wake Forest, and he has enough for a first down. That was second effort, Claiborne. Backer not pleased with that, James, for sure. Four yards and enough for a first down. Yeah, well, they, they've got to, they got to quit giving up the explosives. Explosives killed them in Oxford against Ole Miss. It's hurt them throughout the year, the second half against Louisville, and they especially can't do that when they got them dropped for nothing. Gonna run it again, Claiborne. He breaks up near midfield. So on that first scoring drive, it was Ellison who had 39 yards on the drive. And this is Claiborne for 14. There's that slow developing mesh. Watch these linebackers here. Those linebackers have to be patient until he comes out. And once, once he gets going, those offensive linemen, they have the angles. And not this time for Wake. If you're chest to chest, you can't raise those hands up because he's got you stuck. Griffiths on third and long, slings it. That is just short of the marker at the 40 to Morin. First time this season, Wake going for it on fourth down. They need a yard, they're gonna get it, they're gonna get more. Morin, 7-3 Georgia Tech, latter stages of our first quarter. Hey, here, here's the thought, Tom. Shit. Will kill any sort of defense, any sort of offense. Two guys in the backfield right away, a third to join them in a. Wins against Elon and Vanderbilt, and last week against Old Dominion. That's at the 25 yard line. Short of the stick. Pass complete. That's Banks who made the catch. So after having not gone for it on fourth down the whole season, this is the second time on the drive. That one got deflected and hit the turf incomplete, and that's a turnover on downs. Defense got to stop here, but now the offense is back in the third and long. King, 38-yard line on the money. That pass. Coach Key was Georgia Tech captain back in 2000 and played in four bowl games for the Jackets. This is deep. Intercepted. Deshaun Jones returning it. Knocked out of bounds near the 25. With all of that speed, you know this secondary has heard a lot about Singleton all week long. They haven't let him run right by him. And an excellent job here by Jones. Puts a hand on the pads, little bit of a push off, no flag. And he watches it like a center fielder brings it in. A great job to get that football and it's almost like Haynes King got a little bit cocky hit a couple big throws right there in the window between that zone and then he had the nice touchdown third interception of the season for Jones in that Demon Deacon secondary Griffiths feels the pressure throws on the run up past the 35 yard line and what appears to be first down yardage to Grimes and 11 yards for a weak first down. Let's see if Thacker brings another blitz. He'll bring four. 104 on third down. The edges will bend. Griffiths with the dance. And they get him. They get to Griffiths. They bring him down near the 35-yard line in a loss of one. Also Scott. Well, Kennard down on the ground and... As we all know, you're not going to make plays on the ground. So an excellent job. The hustle. He fans. Nice job by those guys up front. Bringing the pressure to Griffiths throughout the night. Shelley, fair catch. 49 yards on the punt. And a freshman. It's not like he transferred in and caught touchdowns in his first four games. He's a freshman. That pass, complete up the sideline. Avery Boyd. 
Jalen Garns came up to stop him. 31 yards for Georgia Tech. Well, nice protection again. Plenty of time for Boyd to come across the field. That stiff arm's going to knock down one defender. He's going to tightrope the sidelines and then bring the thump to Grimes as he stepped up and tried to knock him down. No, no, Six no, different no, receivers no. now used by King. That is Haynes. Will be a loss on the play of two for Haynes. It's a great job by the defensive front of Wake Forest. Th this is the discipline that I talked about earlier. They they stay in those gaps and they don't get washed down. Even in that earth, that first game against Louisville, Georgia Tech was washing those guys down. They just stretch it and knock them down. Six of nine for 123 yards passing for King. That's out of bounds. The Jenna, 14 yards. Looking at a third and medium empty. You got to be careful, of quarterback draw here. Three for four on third down. King throws it inside the 10 and into the end zone. The money ball and the touchdown. 33 yards. Right by him. That's that's too easy. Second TD pass of the game for Haynes King. That first run right there by Justice Ellison, Tom. He's, he's feeling it tonight. Griffiths. Lockett has the tackle of Griffiths. Chains are moving on that sideline. You know, that ride and decide. You've gotten on me for using that slow mesh term, but that we call it right the side as well. I like that. You got to remember, that this is a guy. He's been in the system. This is his fourth year. He waited his turn, which is interesting. You can see a lot of college ball. Griffiths got it away to the sideline. Warren made the catch for seven yards. Let's see if Thacker heats it up. He's got five up there. We'll bring four. Griffiths got away for the moment. Throws it up near midfield. Pops out of the receiver's hand height and taken by Georgia Tech and King. And now there's a marker on the field as well. There's several. In some plays. That's his third 15-yard penalty in two and one play. So here's another look at it. Height with a nice route. And he goes to tuck it away. Nobody even hits him, Tom. He just loses control of it. A little bit rusty, perhaps, and it's Georgia Tech ball. Backer. So after the interception, Trey Cooley gets swallowed up. That's a two-yard loss. Third interception of the season for Georgia Tech. Play with 446 for the defense. See if they can get a stop. Four of five on third down. The time for King just dumps it off. It's well short of the stick. Trey Cooley takes it up to the 32-yard line. Seven-yard play brings up fourth down for Georgia Tech. Yeah, nice coverage there. Good, good job letting them have everything underneath on that third and long. Converge on the ball, make the secure stop, get them off the field, and force this punt. Give your offense a chance. Shanahan will punt. Morin is deep. Has to move to his right end, backtrack, and uh -oh. lost the football. Down near the 10 yard line. Georgia Tech has it. They've recovered. Morin tried to backtrack and make the play, and he couldn't get to it once it got away from him. Let's see if they give him a little option to run it or throw it here. Third and goal. Quick release to the end zone. The one handed grab attempt, and it's incomplete as Singleton Jr. Tried to haul it in. Nick Anderson on the coverage against Singleton. Nice tight coverage by Anderson. And again, another pretty football. And I guess here's why. When you've got a quarterback that's feeling it and dropping it in there like we've already seen him drop it to Singleton here tonight, why not let him keep throwing it around? And nice job by this defense. Victory for Wake Forest here if all they get is three points after that fumble near the goal line. 25-yard attempt. Eden Burr. And that defensive staff, they haven't reminded, hey, this quarterback's a little bit shorter. Let's get those paws up. So it's a third down. 
One for five on third down. Griff is trying to get out of the pocket, and he won't do it. One of the best in the nation last year. Mora on the punt. It's not a good one either. He's going to bounce at the 42 and go backwards, back towards his own end zone. Georgia Tech was 5-7 and seven last year and 4-4 four and four in conference play. Up the middle, high step in his way to the 25-yard line. Jamal Haynes at 13 yards. That loves football, unquote. That's from Brent Key. This guy loves football, and he plays so hard. His ability to throw it. As we crunch the numbers, they're going to run it. So the conservative call on third and very long. Wake says they have the football. Well, Haynes was the ball carrier for two yards if they maintain possession. So this is going to be a 48-yarder from Burr. Aiden Burr knocks it through. One of the better teams in the ACC. Well, that was the first game of the season. Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Ellison forges he's forward. Up, he's he's past the 35, maybe to the 40. 15 yards for Ellison at a first down. Oh, hook and ladder. Now they are at their own 40, so this would be impressive on what should be the last play of the first half. Got to go safely on the play, the run from Ellison. It's another first down at 15 yards. They picked up 30 yards on the ground in the last two plays, but they'll go to the locker room, and that is a 20 to three lead for Georgia Tech. Not valuing the football, especially by 50-year players. And defensively, just a coverage bust after coverage bust that they cannot have. But they're excited because they know they get the ball coming out of this one. Absolutely, Trevor. It's just, it, it's coming back down. Remember way back in that first quarter, they seemed to have a lot of things going their way and then kind of snowballed a couple bad plays in a row. And it was the junior Justice Ellison. We had a nice shot of him. Just, guys, calm it down. Calm it down a little bit. Well, here's a chance. Go in and catch their breath. There's a lot of time in this second half to come back. They got to keep working down the field. It's not happening here, guys. Griffiths is going down again. That is sack number four in the game for the Jacket D. Kennard, top tackler coming in, and he continues to wait. Coming into the game, had 18 catches to start the night and three TD grabs, and they got 12 in the previous play. Griffiths has to improvise up the sideline, and he scampers out of bounds. He's awfully close to the marker. Had to get to the 45, and he got there. First down. Wake Forest as Sims, who was down on the turf for Georgia Tech. He's got three sacks in the game. We'll keep an eye on that. Down the sideline, Ellison forced down at the 30. Jalen King. Now Sims, Tom, watch him down there in the corner. He, he, he can't. You got to come under control. You can't go running back. He's so big if they could put some points on the board to start the second. Two for set up third down. They want the end zone. Defender and receiver got tangled up and flags are out. Morin was the receiver. Keenan Johnson, the defender. Griffiths threw three TD passes in the comfort behind win a week ago. This time he'll hand it off. Claiborne running to the end zone. And the Demon Deeks strike in the third quarter. Seven yards from Demond Claiborne. And this shows you what that slow mesh can do to these linebackers. You know, taking these angles where if, if this isn't a slow mesh play, but so much of the night they're they're asked to stand there and beat off of it by Haynes King and get it into the belly. First down. Sort of a 30. Dylan Leonard on the play for Georgia Tech. And that's a 10-yard play. Fantastic job up there to make it happen by Eric Singleton, the freshman we saw him catch the touchdown pass earlier. Put his would-be tackler on his back, blocking for his guy. Haynes, elusive, now has some space. Driven out near the 50 by Slocum. How about the moves? Watch Haynes King. Watch him come wrapping back around and get involved. Blocking one guy, two guy, the son of a high school football coach played for his dad back in high school. Right now, Wormy, so a third down and long, and here they come with the blitz. 
King has been so good in this situation, but not this time. He had been 7 of 8 for 144 yards on third down in the game, but this is going to be a punting situation for Georgia Tech. Pressure starting to come on King a little bit right there. I'm not sure if he a little bit off the mark there if they were on a different page, but the ball falls nonetheless, so Georgia Tech a chance to come in and pin wait for us deep. Shanahan the punt. Morin will get out of the way this time, and this will bound into the end zone. Remember, Morin had difficulty fielding, field, fielding a punt rather in the first half. As a 51-yard punt from Shanahan, Forrest scored a rushing TD from Claiborne. It's first possession of this quarter. Griffiths rolls and throws. Complete Morin. 40-yard line. Drags a couple of jackets with him beyond that 40. They got 20 yards on that toss. Well, hands Taylor Warren. Yeah, too much pressure right there staying in the pocket for Griffiths and having those balls batted down. Get him out on the edge and give him a chance to make his offensive lineman. He's overtaken him. Got to keep it. Between whistles. Playboard trying to carve his way. He's a couple of yards short. In fact, there was no gain on that play. So third and short, now fourth and short in the wake. And there's some meat on this bone. Hey, be careful, Georgia Tech. Don't give him a freebie. Trying to draw him offside. I'm not so sure that I'd go for it right here. I think I'd punt it down and see if make him make a mistake and drive it, but they're going to go for it. One for two on fourth in the game. Edges bend. Up past the 50 into Georgia Tech territory for Griffiths, but that is short of the marker. Has not been very successful at all. It's just putting Griffiths back there, letting him sit in that pocket. They've gotten there with four throughout the night, and here they bring five, six, six rushers. Effort and Kelly get there and so instead of making Georgia Tech drive the length of the field keeping them in front trying to force turnovers play the field position battle okay, so yep. we travel to Chestnut Hill for our ACC game of the week on the CW a pass inside the 40 is a completion and first down yardage for Georgia Tech on the money 10 yards to Singleton Jr. and still able to provide the pressure there's a third down for Georgia Tech to start this is King on the run. Throws it down towards the goal line and it short hops the receiver. Didn't have enough on it to get it to Singleton Jr. They have already combined for a touchdown. That back in the first quarter of 31 yards. Like the thought process, he knew he wasn't going to be able to tuck it and go, and so he puts all the arm into it that he can, and it almost turns into like a, a back shoulder throw there in the middle of the field. But unable to put enough air underneath it for the freshman to adjust. Here's a fourth down. Going forward on fourth down near the 30. It's incomplete. And so Georgia Tech, which had been three of seven on the season. Like you had it on the opening drive of the second half on the ground. Griffiths in a cluttered pocket. Tried to throw it. Might be Georgia Tech ball. They just that... scooped it up. Did it hit the ground even? Well, that's Biggers, 88, wow. celebrating. It is Georgia Tech football. Three. There you go. There's a great shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. That's a fumble. That number three, White, with the initial contact, and then Biggers alertly scoops it up. Yeah, I, I thought real time it was a, a pass incomplete, perhaps, or even fell into his arms, but that's a fumble all the way. And look at the pressure again. Just nothing. Nowhere to move. He's in the phone booth immediately as he gets that ball. And that's happened. On the road against the Eagles. That'll be next week, 2 Eastern. Open man, 15-yard line. Making a move at the 10. Flag is out on the play. The receiver, Rutherford, spun down. 12 yards on the play. There is a marker. It's not going to matter. So let's see. Here on this ISO shot, uh, you know, and, and getting in the way, but, you know, I, I've seen a lot worse. So I, I think that's uh, that's the reason why Rutherford was all alone over there. Handoff. Haynes near the 10. 
That right side overloaded. A couple of receivers out there. He's looking that way. King gets away. Slippery and dies down to the five. We'll mark him just inside the five yard line as he lost his footing. He had 27 yards away. Aiden Burr. Two for two in the game. He's now three for three. Field goals of 25, 28, and 27 yards away. 23 9. Georgia Tech in the fourth. And their most recent road win of the ACC, November 19th of last year, they beat number 13 North Carolina in Chapel Hill. And this is a Wake Forest team that really, prior to this week, on the cusp of the top 25 in the nation. And we already have four teams in the top 25 in the ACC. They, they played hard for head coach Brent Keehan. He, he was an interim coach with those wins on the road last year. Remember, he took over. They were 1-3. and three. He took over. They went 4-4 four and four to finish that season. And, and players playing hard for him. And Georgia Tech deciding to keep him as the head man there on the sidelines. Pressure. Fumble. It was Wallace on the hit. Three of nine on third down of the game for Wake. Moore just had his sixth catch of the game. They're going to give it to Ellison. Ellison up the middle of the field. First down and more for the Demon Deacons. And down to the 42-yard line, 16 yards of the run from Ellison. Big man, big 55. Jurgens, Michael Jurgens, leading the way in his 38th start here today. And some good. Griffiths got a little time. Clock's running out on Griffiths. And the integrity of that pocket is compromised again. The seventh sack of the game for Georgia Tech. This time it's Andre White. Making sure they don't get a flag. No flags on that one. So it's a third down and long. Seven sacks. Great job by White. Hey, and also for Andrew Thacker's sec secondary. How about the job that they've done? Nobody open for Griffiths right there either. Third and long. Griffiths escapes the pocket. He throws it down the field. Leaping for the attempt. And it's incomplete. And a flag is out. Grimes was the intended receiver. Penalty marker on the field. Handoff running plays. Third and short. That is enough for a first down. They did one, they got two. Dave Clawson says, let's go, let's move. Yeah. No time to kill here. You got all three timeouts. Still plenty of time, even to you score here. Go ahead and just kick it off and play some defense. First things first, you got to get into that end zone. Looking to the end zone. Adjusting to the football and making the catch for a touchdown. Wesley Grimes for Wake Forest and a 16-yard touchdown pass from Griffiths. Griffiths, tough, once again standing in there delivering the football. Grimes fighting and finding a way to get the defender off of him, come back and look this football in. Short where only Grimes can come back and get it, and he finds a way to make it happen. Georgia Tech needs three. King. Too far for the receiver. Avery Boyd was the intended target. Now it's fourth down. And you, not only do you not get the first down, but you get the clock to stop. So with 4.07, Wake Forest able to hang on to all three of their timeouts. Something that you, you saw a little bit in some of these other games in that Louisville game, especially is running it. We haven't seen much of that tonight. Warren comes up to meet it in the neighborhood of the 35 yard line. It would have counted, it would have wiped off that penalty. So a first down and five. Griffiths has some time to operate, trying to thread it between two defenders. Down inside the 15, two markers are out. Jamal Banks was the receiver. Sims defending. Penalty markers. Trail 20 to 3 at halftime. 20 to 3. Second straight week they've been in a big hole. It's first down yardage. 
Justice Ellison. Ellison got four. We already told you he's over 100 yards rushing. Banks with his sixth catch of the ball game. Moving quickly. Down to the 21 yard line for Carney. So Tate Carney earns a first down for Wake Forest. Carney's a big name around here. His brother Kate was a team captain in 2018, 2019. In these short yard situations, they like to lean on the redshirt freshman, Tate Carney. Griffiths mm. got away from that first wave. Gets rid of it, and it's intercepted along the sideline. Keenan Johnson, interception, Georgia Tech. And they try to come down here to this matchup. Johnson and Grimes able to slip out and on the run, just trying to make some magic happen and get it to Grimes coming back. But a nice job by Johnson to read those eyes and react on that ball and go meet it. Go those one-on-one -on -one battles that we feel like, hey, I'm lucky enough to get out of that sack. Let me tuck it. We have to play another down. Just short of the 40 on the run for Haynes. That turnover by Wake Forest. Second interception of the game. Try to get a first down right here. They have fared well on the road recently in the ACC. Three and one in their last four road games. The fake the run. King, 40-yard line. Try to accelerate away. And he's written out of bounds. Mustafa caught up with him. King with that pretty little fake. Yeah, I was expecting to see a little bit more of the wheels of number 10 here tonight. Hey, they're, they're playing winning football right now. They're ahead in this game. <laughs> There's room right up the middle, headed to the end zone, and now stepping in, Jamal Haynes. Trying to drain a couple more seconds <laughs> off of that clock. But this is a touchdown, James, off of that interception. Yeah, and you know, and how about that offensive line? I don't know that we've patted them on the back enough here tonight, but look at it. this. This isn't, this is a new look. Offensive line for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and Find a way to score quick This might be it Might be better than than just letting Georgia Tech run it out And now Dave Clawson's offense has to act fast That is going to be sack number eight on the night Kyle Kennard has four sacks in the game So that's eight sacks in total ten tackles for loss Four pass breakups, and they caused four turnovers. How about the effort from the swarming defense, despite all the penalties? Oh, yeah. Oh, they, hey, they'll take it because you know what? Hey, playing aggressive football, <laughs> that kind of that goes hand in hand. You know, you can't patty cake and expect to force turnovers and sacks. Griffiths running free past the 45-yard line. This is a this is a very nice win for this Georgia Tech team, and Wake Forest got to bounce right back because they've got Clemson up next. Griffiths on the scamper, fighting for the 30-yard line. 19 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Wake will be off next week, James, and then at Clemson October 7th. They lost to Clemson last year. In double overtime, 51 to 45. Last overtime game that Clemson was involved in before today in the loss to Florida State at home. Batted around, intercepted. Jalen King. This is his second pick of the night. Acrobatic. And this is this is crazy looking. I mean, it looked like that. It looked like Sims was kind of going half speed. Then he looked at the eyes of the receiver, intended receiver, for a defense that was thirsting to try to turn it over a little bit. They certainly got what they were looking for here tonight in Winston-Salem. And that is the final, 30-16, to 16, with about four minutes to go, James.